Hey, 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 what's up? It's Marco. Thank you so much for checking out Marco's Motorcycle Nation on YouTube. We do appreciate you being right here each and every day. Uh, we're getting up to uh, lots of subscribers, trying to go to 1,000. I think we're at like 700 right now. So if you could please hit that subscribe button, we'll bring you great content. Promise to always have the latest cool stuff and uh, the biker news and uh, a lot of different things you don't find on a lot of other YouTube channels here. Uh, so make sure you hit share, like, and comment and that subscribe button. Uh, we do appreciate that. We're super excited to tell you that we've uh, formed a relationship here with Insane Throttle. My boy Hollywood and I are going to be uh, doing the uh, biker news here. He's going to do it in the morning. I'm going to do it here in the afternoon and uh, we'll tag team it for you right here. So we have a great partnership now with uh, Insane Throttle and Hollywood. Uh, and uh, that is super exciting. And also, Hollywood and I are going to be doing a live show tonight, Monday night, every Monday called Monday Night Raw. So uh, make sure you hit share, subscribe, follow us and uh, check it out. It's going to be a fun live show that will be way different than uh, basically anything on uh, any uh, MC YouTube channel. I can uh, promise you that because we're going to have a lot of fun and we're going to do some cool things. So let's get to your biker news for today. It's April 3rd, 2023, and this is a crazy case uh, that's actually happening. Uh, there's a plea deal going on uh, on this uh, particular case that happened a few years ago. And uh, man, it is just insane with this uh, plea deal. So man charged in fatal Nina stabbing enters a plea deal. Uh, now, this says Mandel Roy, a man accused in the fatal stabbing, entered his plea deal. Uh, this happened just a couple of days ago. He has uh, several other cases for charges that were combined and dismissed. And uh, apparently, uh, he was originally charged with homicide. Uh, but this brings down the charge to first degree reckless endangering safety. Now, this all stems from something that happened at the Hell's Lovers Motorcycle Club in Nina, Wisconsin, uh, which is kind of a crazy story. So uh, it is the tragic murder of Roger Ridgway in Nina on April 21st, 2021. This uh, incident was covered by different articles that provides various perspectives, and we're going to kind of give you the details here. So on the night of April 17th, 2021, Roger Ridgway's mother got into a fight with a group of people from Hell's Lovers Motorcycle Club. They were outside Gord's Pub. Now, apparently, uh, she came and she had some words with them, wanted to ride the motorcycles. There were some things exchanged. She went inside. She called 911 from Gord's Pub at 830, saying a woman struck her. Now, the responding officer found out that the mother was upset uh, that the bikers wouldn't take her for a ride, saying she was too drunk. And then what she said afterwards was uh, she had a couple of words with the bikers, gave them the finger. There was a sort of an altercation. And that's when she was assaulted. Her boyfriend took her home and she was advised to not come back to the bar, which is probably a pretty good idea, actually. So it appears Ridgeway, her son, came to Gord's Pub a couple hours later. Now, the bartender initially thought Ridgeway's mom was there. So he thought she thought Ridgeway was Ridgeway's mom, uh, because she told police uh, somebody came back to the bar wearing men's clothing and carrying a stick to confront people at the bar. Apparently, they must look similar. Now, at 1109, surveillance footage from nearby businesses captured Ridgeway walking southeast from the area of Gord's Pub with a group of three people dressed in black clothing, some of them in Hell's Lover's Motorcycle Club clothing. Uh, there was a physical disturbance that took place. It lasted just a few minutes. And afterward, Roy, Caldwell, and Hoofman quickly left the scene. Now, Roy and Caldwell were seen on video running from the scene back to Eagle Nation cycles. According to the complaint, investigators were unable to determine whether it was Roy or Caldwell who stabbed Ridgeway. Now, Eagle Nation cycles uh, was kind of the home for Hell's Lovers. I mean, it was unclear whether it's exactly a clubhouse or a hangout, uh, but uh, they were known to be there. In fact, the uh, city of Nina uh, pretty much confiscated the Eagle uh, Nation cycles and then um, kind of uh, got everybody out of there because of all the stuff that is not the only incident that happened down there. An autopsy revealed that Ridgeway died of six knife wounds. A witness uh, a present at Eagle Nation Cycles when Roy and Caldwell returned after the altercation told investigators that a man matching the description of Roy had blood on his hands. Surveillance video from inside the building showed that Caldwell was holding some objects consistent with a knife and a wallet, the complaint says here. Now, it's unable to, they were unable to, to figure out who from the security footage actually stabbed Ridgeway, uh, but you can see the footage. It's not very uh, bright there, but that's what the, they had on the news. Now, after the murder, he was uh, Roy was charged with felony murder and the stabbing of Roger Ridgeway. However, he pleaded no contest, like we said, uh, to first-degree reckless endangering safety as part of a plea deal. So he pleaded out, 
and he's got less time now. Charges he received while he was in jail, which was a battery charge he picked up from another inmate, and criminal damage to property and disorderly conduct, those were all dismissed. So it seems like uh, Roy uh, pled down, and now he's got a lesser uh, sentence uh, to get out a little earlier. So that's it for today's video. The account uh, was brought to you right here. If there's any other more uh, uh, breaking news on this or any other details that come out, we will certainly give them to you. Uh, but Hell's Lovers implicated in this stabbing in 2021. Uh, now there's a plea deal, but there's a video and there's a, a testimony out of exactly what happened on the night of the Ridgeway murder. Pretty crazy up in Nina, Wisconsin, man. That's my old neck of the woods uh, up, up there in Wisconsin. So make sure you hit share, like, and comment. That's it for today's uh, Biker News. My name is Marco. This is Marco's Motorcycle Nation. We really appreciate you being right here, trying to push to 1,000 subscribers. So if you could tell your friends or your family or if you got another biker buddy, uh, say, hey, man, this new guy on YouTube, he's not bad. Uh, check him out. We have uh, a bunch of stuff. In fact, I got some hacks and some tricks coming up in the next video that we'll be doing here in just a little while. Uh, if you're a big motorcycle uh, rider, you'll love these because they'll save you some time on the side of the road. And like I said, the big partnership with Hollywood tonight, we're doing Monday Night Raw. It's a live show. Starts at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, we have hooked up with Hollywood and Insane Throttle, uh, and we're going to have some fun. So it's a great partnership that I'm excited to announce and excited to be a part of. Me and Hollywood are going to be working together, uh, like I said, not only for Biker News, but every Monday night, Monday Night Raw. So make sure you're right back here. How do you do that? Hit subscribe, hit follow, give me a comment, let me know what you're thinking here, and we'll have more great videos on our YouTube channel right here. It's Marco's Motorcycle Nation.